Hello, <clears throat> Kevin from JJ Hat Center. Just closed the shop. I'm about to go home. I uh, figured I'm going to show you guys something. Uh, it's pretty important. This is how to tighten up a hat that's too big. A lot of times we're between sizes. So if you're in doubt, you don't know what to order, just go for the bigger size and tighten it up. Don't worry about stretching. Just don't do it. Just forget about it. Just tighten it up a little big. This is what you do, okay? You pick up the sweatband. You know, if it's stuck a little bit like this, oh, I'm gonna break it now. Don't worry about it. Just rip it, pull it open. What happens sometimes is that people glue in these linings with like a hot glue gun, and sometimes the linings get caught on the sweatbands, and you know, it just gets like a little wonky. You basically have to take the, the a lining and just sort of rip it free. Now, if that happens, it's not like a big deal, okay? This is what we do. Sweatband is usually either leather, or it's a ribbon, or cloth. Doesn't matter, it's all the same principle. You wanna tighten up a hat, you tighten it up behind your head first, okay? Because if you put padding up in the front, you're gonna feel the padding by your forehead. Most people have hair in the back, so you just feel the padding less. Uh, the best thing to do is go to the hardware store, get something called weather stripping. It's that foam tape, it's tape, sticky tape with the sticker back, backing, paper backing, that has foam attached to it. I like to use something called polyfoam. Uh, polysorb, polyfoam, yeah. It doesn't matter, I don't know how wide this stuff is. It's about as wide as my thumb. I don't know, what is that stuff? Three quarter inch, maybe? Um, doesn't really matter. You don't want to get anything too thick. I'm gonna say three quarter inch sounds about right. You could get half inch, three quarter inch, one inch. Three quarter inch seems to work really well for me, I think. Okay. Take a piece, I don't know, maybe six inches long. You start with that. Peel off the backing, go behind. Now, in the hat, you gotta go either on the leather ribbon or underneath it right here doesn't matter because you're folding it to the same place. Now, if you put it on the leather, the only downside is that when you try to take it off, you could damage the leather, take pieces of the leather with it. So, you know, I don't do that. If it's like a hat I might sell or might not sell. But if it's somebody's hat, you know, I don't care. You know, my hat, just put it in there. The foam's gonna stay in there, you know, and you could peel it off. You can get it, even if it's hard to get off, you peel it off with, in pieces, you get it off. All right. That's it, you put the foam there. Now, keep going through the back. It's kind of like a horseshoe around the back. The more you extend it, the tighter the hat will get. <clears throat> now, it doesn't work that much on the sides. Even if you have big gaps, you have a long oval, the gaps are so big on the sides for most people that the tape just doesn't do anything. It's just, it's meaningless. I usually don't do the sides. The only time I tighten the sides is when I'm doing on the outside of the band, I'm tightening, which is a different thing altogether. That I use a cotton-faced band because cotton needs to go against your skin. You can't put polyfoam right against your skin. It's meant to go under the band, the polyfoam, you hide it. But anyway, if I put this cotton pad, I usually go all the way around. That's something totally different. My, my point is, don't go all the way around. Go in the back like a horseshoe. You need more, go in the front like a horseshoe. This stuff on the side just does nothing. They, everybody says, oh, well, I, I need it on the sides. Oh, I don't care what this guy says. It just doesn't work. You know, <clears throat> if you're in a business long enough, you just find out these things. It just does nothing. So um, if you want to tighten it up, the hat's fitting in the back and the front. There's usually little gaps here. No matter how your hat fits, it's, there's just a gap there. Um, it's because we have oval-shaped heads. Now, your hat is tighter. It will be a little bit lumpy, just a little, but this stuff is gonna pack down after you, you know, wear it for a little bit. Besides, it doesn't matter, the hat fits you, nobody sees inside there. Now, what I like to do is I put one piece and then I, two, I put two pieces on each end, like a little piece like this on each end. That way, if I ever need to take some out, I could take those two side pieces out and it's just a little bit looser. Um, it's just one of the things I always do. When I tighten a person's hat, I put one big piece, two, two on the side, put it on their head. They say, ah, it's a little too tight. No problem. 
take those two side pieces out. So that hat is now tighter. Polyfoam insulation. Now there's another uh, product that's called Cap Ban New. It's cotton, it's a cotton pillow. We sell them for five bucks. <clears throat> you can get these on Amazon too, excuse me. They come in the cotton, it's like a cotton pillow with a sticker on the back adhesive. Uh, these are great. Now this is the only thing that blocks perspiration from hitting your, going through the hat and staining it. It's a barrier. You put this on right against your forehead. It's a sticker that goes on the outside. And, you know, the reason why it's cotton is because, you know, it's meant to go on the outside of the leather against your skin. Now these things are, are great at tightening. They're also good when you don't have a sweatband in a hat or if you have a little ribbon and nothing to work with with the polyfoam, you just stick this stuff in because this you just put right on top as much as you need. These are great. We call them sweat wicks, but you can get them on Amazon and stuff. Uh, now the sweat wicks are fantastic. The only thing is if you put it on, you perspire into this thing, you take the hat off, right? You're in a cafe, you're cooling off, you're nice and cool in the aftermath. You put your hat back on, the sweat wick is still wet. It's wet and it's cold and sweaty and not very clean. So when your hat needs a sweat wick, put it in, but don't just slam it in from the beginning. Uh, put because you know, leather is better, it's cleaner. You could just take some cloth and just wipe it down and it's just, it's dry, you know? But this just stays wet, it's not comfortable, and you always have to change them and upgrade them every you know, couple of months or so, because they get funky. But it's the only thing that keeps your hats sweat free, it, it blocks it. And if you have, let's say, a $500 Panama hat, a um, $1,000 Panama, if you sweat into it and make a big ring of sweat, it'll be in tears, you'll be so you know, upset. So this comes between you and the hat, and the sweat never touches the hat. So we call them sweat wicks, they're five bucks, they're fantastic. Whoever invented it is a rich guy, probably, maybe not rich, but he's just a smart guy. Now I'm gonna take this out. Anybody recognize this hat? This is a famous hat, it's made by Biltmore. Um, this is a very famous pop icon kind of hat, wait, I'm just taking this pad out, guys. Okay, do you know what this hat is? This is the Kojak, this is the what Kojak used to wear. Uh, anybody who's old school knows this from the 70s and late 60s, they used to call them velours. That's an old school velour. Um, another person who wore this, Run DMC. Reverend Run, all those guys. This is the original Run DMC hat. Um, this is it. Made by Biltmore Canada, which is now defunct. Biltmore got eaten up by another company, Dorfman Pacific. Now they're American. They don't make all the same stuff. So this is the original. Canadian velour called the Golden Pheasant. We call them Kojaks on the street, also known as a velour, old school velour. This is a really good. This is the Run DMC hat, exactly what they wore. I remember once I was in here talking about Reverend Run with this other guy, and he walked in, and we were like, What? And we said, Yo, yo, we were just talking about you, and he walked right in. And um, I don't know if he bought this hat, but they did used to buy him back 10, 15 years, and I was with another guy here, uh, Mark, and he said, yo, we just, we just said your name, you walked in, Reverend Ronnie says, yo, you talked me up, that's what we did, we talked him up, we were talking about him, and he, he appeared, so, enough people talk about something, I guess it, it appears, anyway, we talked up Reverend Run that day from Run DMC, anyway, I'm going to go home, it's time to uh, go home, it's been a long day at JJ Hat Center, now, let's do something to this crown before I say goodbye, let's push that in. Do a little deuce trace or something. Yeah, yeah. Old school. Below. Run DMC. Golden pheasants. Kojak. Who loves it, baby?